Hey guys, Capper here and welcome back. This is going to be a quick drone flight of our 211 acre Southern Illinois farm, mainly to show you how we lay them out for improved usability and value. So here you got a plot and a watering hole, cover on two sides. That's how I try to set up most of my food sources. But as we fly around, you'll see that I set up the food sources spread out around the property and kind of near the property edges. So here you got a destination corn plot and basically on two sides again you have really nice and thick cover as opposed to the other two sides. Um, I try to add as many watering holes as I can to properties but um, this is how you make them what it's called laying out bigger than they are. And here during the winter flight for some of our uh, longtime viewers, just an, where you could see the food plots, they stand out a lot better here during the dead of the winter. Um, so like this next one that we're going to look at right up here in a minute is really close to a property edge. However, there's a highway on that side and we're not going to get really too close to anyone else's property line. Um, you want to spread them out around your property line, around your property, so you draw deer in from multiple directions. However, you don't want them, you don't want them so close to a property line that you invite line hunters. So there's a fine balance um, between that and like these two plots here are a little bit close however this one you could see it's got cover on two sides of it and a nice watering hole and let's go back to that last one here really quick you could see that's got a lot of big wood cover up to the north of it there on the top as you're looking at it um, back to the line hunters though you want to have some cushion there so your your neighboring property owners can't like really see into it or hunt it so but if you spread them out around your property then you can draw deer in from all different directions now this here this watering hole was a fail um, this year twice it was empty but now it looks like it's holding full so I'm going to have to do another check of this one and see if it's holding. But just a real quick flight over to show you how you can spread out your property and may it, make it lay out bigger. Now this is just my philosophy. A lot of land managers think you should put your food sources in the center of your property to try and hold as many deer as you can. But I prefer that you try to draw in as many deer as you can from neighboring properties. And of course, hold a bunch on your own property as well. So stay tuned for more updates. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to follow all of our action uh, at Capper Outdoors. Thanks a lot.